Hi everyone, my name is Dolly Ravendra. In this video, we will learn how we can get started using Amplitude. If you're viewing this video, you already know that Amplitude offers the digital optimization system that helps digital products drive your business. In this video, we will first understand what product analytics is all about. Then we'll go over five key constructs that will help you analyze your product environment and instrument it onto the Amplitude instance. Finally, I have a short product demo and that is followed by useful resources for your current and ongoing learning. Let's get started. Product analytics is a process to understand how customers engage with your digital product or service. It's a framework for putting your customers at the core of your business by looking at behavioral data, identifying high value opportunities and creating impactful experiences. In short, product analytics helps product managers to build the right product and build the product right. Product managers across products and industries might operate in one or more of the following spaces, problem, solution, flywheel, and assurance. The problem spaces where the product managers are looking for, one, create a product market fit. You might be using multiple modalities. Maybe your company still uses market research for this information. You then define product strategy, product KPIs, and success metrics if you're making product decisions in your role around, how do I take the product from the current state to the state as defined in the strategy, or which features to prioritize, you are in the solution space. Like a flywheel that might need a few initial turns before gaining momentum, any product team coming together for the first time needs to establish the rigor of execution in this space before scaling to deliver meaningful outcomes. You're grappling with questions like, how do, how do we create visibility into the design and engineering scope of work? How can we iteratively build the product? How do we handle additional feedback coming from say customers? The assurance space integrates the problem defined by in the product strategy with the process to build the solution. The intent is to assess progress for building a quality product experience. How is the work accomplished over timelines and milestones? How do we measure the quality of the product and stakeholders buy-in as we build the product? Remember that in your role, you might be more focused on one or more of these spaces. Now these, as you well know, are tough questions to answer in an ever evolving business and technological landscape and tougher to convey to your key stakeholders like, the, like user experience, sales, engineering, customer support, design and executives, customers and end users. This is where product analytics products come in. Product analytics lets your team track, visualize, and analyze real-time engagement and behavioral data so you can optimize the complete customer journey. You can go beyond the vanity metrics and tie every step of the product lifecycle to concrete data point, empowering your team to improve digital experience, win customer loyalty, and tie digital bets to the business impact. Today, business leaders understand the need to focus on creating a digital experience that will bring value to the customers help maintain a competitive advantage and attract and retain customers. Product analytics helps you create the digital experience without any guesswork. It provides you with concrete information to optimize conversions, grow retention, and maximize revenue. However, the tools that are used internally do not necessarily lead to optimal product analysis. In some companies, product managers run SQL queries into the data warehouse. This requires technical expertise. The quality of output can vary widely depending on the analytics skill of individual product managers. And then there are BI tools like Looker and Tableau. These surface relevant information, but the tools are designed for business analysts, not product managers. Page view analytics provides detailed information on what the user did on that specific page for that specific session, but the page interaction is just one aspect of the overall product analysis. Finally, behavioral analytics. Behavioral analytics centers around the user and combines all user behavior across the devices, web, mobile, and tablets to make it easier to do common analysis that product managers need to do. Amplitude provides analytics for modern product teams. Let's get started. Five things to consider while provisioning Amplitude for your organization. Analyses, define your business objectives. Develop features that intersect customer and business value and reflect the customer problem your product is trying to solve. 
data informed product strategy is guided by the principle that the more you understand your customers, the better you can serve them. The user reflects the traits about individual person using your product. In other words, it helps you answer questions like, who are my most valuable customers? What actions do these valuable customers take? Who are the customers who churn? What the actions do churn customers take? What are the characteristics of highly engaged users? What are my users' pain points? Amplitude allows you to instrument your own user properties, so you have the flexibility to align Amplitude to your product needs. For example, age, location, referral source, plant type, number of photos uploaded, A-B testing variant, attribution, and current level of game. Another important note, user properties reflect the state of the user and apply across all of the events. This allows user analysis across all devices the user uses. An event is an distinct action a user can perform on your product. For example, start a game, add an item to the cart, or any activity associated with a user, for example, in-app notification, push notifications. Think of your product. What is the one event that your users need to perform to get value from your product? This is your critical event. Critical events for food uh, delivery app might be placing an order, for a healthcare app, booking a session, for a gaming app, completing a level. Now determine the workflow leading up to that event and factors that cause them to enter the flow. Next, identify the broad categories of your event will help you conceptualize the major components of your product. Event categories could be registration, onboarding, checkout. Important, each category tracked should help towards accomplishing at least one or more of your business objectives or KPIs. Once you've determined your overarching categories, drill down into individual events of these groupings. Begin with the top priority event, then align with your business goals and KPIs. It is recommended that you have no more than 30 events for your first pass. Every application has critical paths that the user can move through. Critical paths are sequence of actions a user takes that aligns to your product's purpose. An example of an e-commerce product could be search, browse products, add to the cart, checkout, order confirmation. For a gaming product, you, you could break into the onboarding process or path with a series of events like open app, registration, personal info populated, registration, avatar selected, registration complete, game tutorial started, game tutorial watch, so on and so forth. Once that is done, you can go through and determine what type of tracking you'll need in order to best understand that critical event and the flow surrounding that event. Organization is the highest construct in Amplitude. Multiple projects can be created within the organization. Typically, the name of the company will be the name of your organization. A project is a destination that collects all of your relevant event data from the product. You can have multiple projects within your Amplitude organization. It is extremely important that there are a minimum of two projects in your Amplitude organization, a test and production project. Always heavily QA your instrumentation in your test project to catch any instrumentation bug before sending it to your production project. Remember, good analytics needs clean data as input. Your total number of projects will depend on your product and your business objectives. Data sent to one project will be independent of each other. If one of your goals is to be able to analyze users across the platforms, being able to see, for example, the full story of user A, what did user A do on event X on iOS and event Y on the web, then it is critical that you instrument under one project. However, if your setting is such that you offer multiple products, let's say you have game A and game B, or you have two different apps, you have the rider app and you have the driver app, or you want, uh, or your users have fundamentally different experiences across different platforms like web and mobile, or maybe your organization is set up in such a way that individual team are responsible for each platform and they operate independently. In these scenarios, you might want to consider multiple projects within your organization. With the basic setup alignment done, let's jump right into the product. The demo is from another YouTuber I've added a link in the description as well. What we talk about is uh, what you see in the product itself. They have a demo account that we can look into. 
and actually start exploring. Um, what I've noticed right away, these when, when you build your own product uh, project, uh, these dashboards are actually not standard reports. Uh, that you need to build everything from scratch. So here's something that has been actually built. For you. There are some um, interesting metrics here. So if you can post the content, that was the report that I go into the analytics first. We see some of the where the users came from, um, some retention metrics here. Uh, if you have a SaaS business, for example, um, some behavioral statistics about uh, songs, paid songs. Um, we have referral information here again. Okay, so I'll let you watch the rest of it, um, you know, by clicking through the link that I provide in the description section. But in terms of this particular tutorial, let's uh, let me share some resources with you. You can see that there are multiple links here. Um, the, in, the some of the links are associated with this current course that we are doing. Some others are for ongoing learning. One thing I would like to highlight is that uh, the help documentation in Amplitude is detailed and you should find it really useful. So I encourage you also to, to visit their blog where I find that uh, they have more information around a specific feature or maybe more industry specific uh, examples that you can leverage. What's great about Amplitude is that they try to make learning the product easy for those who really want to. You can explore the product by going to the Amplitude website and registering yourself in their in their demo instance. Um, all they need is an email address, and and they can e they even take the personal email address. So I use my Gmail account to get into the demo environment. All links and URLs, like I mentioned earlier, are provided in the description below. So go ahead, explore, and keep learning.